it's easier to get rid of guilt when you get a grander view, when you get a bigger picture, when you become more enlightened or more spiritually conscious or more aware of your magnificent potential. See, guilt, it's like it all takes place in the present moment, as does everything. It is a way of using up the present moment to be consumed with something that has already happened over which you have no control, because obviously you can't control what has already happened. And to me, the reason that people use guilt is not because they're guilty, or they're even feeling guilty. It's because they want to use up their present moments in this way rather than in another way. And another way would be to take action, to correct it, to learn from it, to move on and vow not to behave that way in the future, and so on. But the guilty person doesn't do that. The guilty person cannot learn from their mistakes. Learning from your mistakes is simply learning from your mistakes. Guilt is saying that I'm going to use at my present moment to be immobilized or be depressed or be full of despair over what has happened. But when you get a more a grander, more spiritual view of life, you realize that um, everything that you did or everything that happened happened for a reason, that there are no accidents, and that uh, all of those things that you did at one particular time towards somebody else that you feel guilty for now had a lesson in them. And so you look for the lesson. And in the process of doing that, you grow and learn not to do that anymore. I mean, that's what being human is about. When you have seven children and five of them are under the age of eight, and you're around them a lot, you will raise your voice, you will say things occasionally that you don't mean, you might say something to one of your children who are very sensitive when they've done something that you think of as very stupid, and you'll say something to them, like maybe you'll call them stupid, or you'll you know, lash out in anger, or whatever. These kinds of things just go on, and anybody who's uh, parents of a large family know exactly what I'm talking about. And yet you don't want to behave that way. You don't want to be lashing out at your kids. You don't want to be striking them, certainly. You don't want to be saying things to them that you don't mean. And so there are options, for me at least, there are options always. And I do that occasionally, much less occasionally than I did years ago, but it still it happens. And I'll lose it for a second and in a moment of frustration say something that I don't mean. Now, I have a couple of choices when this happens. One of them is to feel really guilty and uh, feel awful and fill myself with despair and flagellate myself, all right, uh, in many different ways. And that will do nothing except keep me uh, immobilized in the present moment and so on. And the other thing that I do instead of the guilt is I say to myself, uh, this is just an indication of where you are not. You would like to think of yourself as like this spiritually aware person who is... Uh, above this sort of thing that is getting frustrated over the behavior of a three-year-old and you like to think of yourself as someone who but every once in a while you slip it's like there's a learning thing in this for you what it is is that uh, you're not there yet all the way you're there maybe 90 percent of the way but you're still not there and it's a reminder of where i am so guilt is no longer possible it's like this is an almost an instantaneous learning device and now what do i do with it what I do with it as soon as I have this awareness, because when you have the awareness and you know that you behave this way for some reason, you know, and the reason is so that you can become even more enlightened and more aware of yourself and your limitations, is I can go and put my arms around the child that I just uh, said something really nasty to and say, oh, you know, I know that accidents happen and daddy didn't mean to yell and you know I love you and I can use the very experience that would have created a sense of guilt and oh, why did I say this to one of my children and, uh, to bring me closer to that child, you know? And perhaps that was the reason that I did it, whatever. That option is available to every single one of us all day long in every single thing that we do. The option of one, choosing to remain immobilized in the present moment, to use up the present moment feeling guilty so that I can't do anything about it. If I'm feeling guilty, what else can I do? Or two, to say, this is an indication of where I am or where I am not. All right. And three, what can I now do to make sure that I use this in a positive way? And what happens for me is that as I use that way of relating to uh, what could potentially be a guilt-ridden situation is I find myself less and less getting consumed with the, I'm, I'm, in, I'm more in charge of myself in the moments when I would have been frustrated earlier 
so that those moments are less and less and less and less occurring in my life. How do you feel about your parents? How do you feel about the way you treated them or the way that they treated you? Or are you guilty about something that you said toward them and so on? And after a while you get to a point you realize that your parents did exactly what they knew how to do given the conditions of your life. And so did you. So that all the things that you said or all the things that you did were just part of what you were here for and what you had to learn. And you grasp that instantly. You don't get filled with guilt.